Hello everyone. So today we are going to be doing lab test three, which is for VLSM and OSPF. So without further ado, I'm going to explain to you guys about VLSM. But those who have done with the VLSM, you can just skip to the part where uh, we are going for the packet tracer later. Okay. So this whole black box here, as you guys can see, this is actually a slash 24, which is the IP address is from zero. The network address, the network address is zero uh, here. Network address is zero. And then the broadcast address is 255. Okay. 255. Okay. So now what we're going to do the first step is we are going to divide these two. Okay. Like maybe some of you guys uh, in class, Dr. Chan Waikok or any lecturer, they teach you using paper. But since that is kind of hard for me to show using paper, I'm going to use Excel. But you can just use paper and every time I make a line, pull your paper into half. Okay. So this is the first uh, division of our slash 24 where this is going to become our new broadcast address, is which is 127. Okay. And then... The new network address is uh one two eight k. Okay. So now for two networks, which is network one is from one until one to six, the IP addresses that we can use, and then the next one is uh one two nine until two five four. Okay, these two is actually representing slash twenty five, which is the net mass, the slash twenty five. Okay. Then we are going to divide it once more. Okay. Now here. Okay. So now there is four parts. Uh, we can allocate this to four networks. So this one, the new broadcast address will be uh, 63. And then this network address will be um, 64. And then this here, the new broadcast address will be 191. 191. Okay, so the next one will be like this. Here, you divide into two. So this one also, you divide into two. And then this one, you divide into two. So, and here you divide into two. Okay. Okay. So, now you have eight networks. So, you need to calculate, like, uh, what is the range here for each. So, maybe uh, to just shorten things up, I'm just going to make a fast forward. So, I'll complete this and then later you guys can see. Uh, so, here as you guys can see, uh, I've place all of the network address and broadcast address for each of the parts where this is going to actually be a slash 27. So slash 27 where you can actually use uh, 30, 30 IP addresses for each uh, part or network. So for it's going to be for 30 hosts for each one. So let's say now you have eight. But you guys still need how many? Maybe for those who need like around 10 or 11, we can do actually one more division and then it's going to be enough. But for those who have like more than 10 or 11, you guys might need to divide all of this once more. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is just here, I'm going to divide. I divide once. This one also I divide. So, and then maybe I divide here again. And I divide here. Okay. So, and then as you guys can see here, now in total, I already have 12. 12 parts, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, but those who maybe have like more than 12, you guys can just do this. Just divide more. 
divide and then you divide and then you divide and the last one you divide so this is for 16 so you guys can see here all of this i divide into four so you guys will be having 16 uh, parts or 16 network that you guys can work with okay so i'm just going to fast forward this i'm going to provide all of the network address and broadcast address so you guys will see later okay so now as you guys can see i've divided my uh, slash 24 into 16 parts where for this 16 part your net mass later will be a slash 28 slash 28 so maybe you are wondering like oh uh for each uh part let's say for network zero how many ip address get you can actually use okay so as you guys can see here uh i've completed with all of the network address and broadcast address for 16 parts which is going to be used for 16 networks in your topology so now you guys can just assign any of this network to whichever or any of these partitions to any of the networks that you guys want so that later i will show you guys in packet tracer on how i do it okay okay so as you guys can see here i have three routers with with three pcs and one pc connected to each router so it's kind of similar to the question that we have like for lab test 3 but it might be different based on your own topology but i just going to show here actually how does it work in uh how to actually use the vlsm in our uh, lab test 3 okay so i'll just now i mentioned to you guys where you guys can actually use any ip address or any partitions to any network because it's going to work the same as uh, what we did during lab test 1 in IPv4. Just that now, what we are changing is just the is just the IP addressing. So other than that, the OSPF or whatsoever should be the same. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so as you guys can see here, now I actually label all of my uh, PCs, routers, and also network with their addresses. And for this question, I'm using my own birthday, which is 35th of August, which my IP address should be 200.8.25.x. So, and then this is my net mask, since we are using all slash 28, the net mask for slash 28 is going to be 255.255.255.240 okay so like uh from the vlsm table now i've converted it into my topology where you guys can see here uh do mind referring the vlsm table also while doing this so as you guys can see here this is my network dot zero and then here i have dot 48 dot 80 dot 112 and dot 224 now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna configure all of my pcs and then i'm going to configure all of my routers thing is on and all of the link is up so we can just go for ospf routing so what we do in ospf is we exit first so wait let me end so 
config term and then you router ospf1 okay and then you put the router id okay so just that uh, since that this is router 0 i'm just going to put 1.1.1.1 but for your topology or for your lab test tree, just follow the router's uh, number. So let's say if you have router 1, just put the router ID as 1.1.1.1. Uh, okay. 1.1.1.1.1. Okay. So and then the network. So when we want to put the network, the network ID or the network IP that we need to use is this one. 200.8 dot two five dot zero okay and then the wildcard so for the wildcard what we're going to use is dot uh, we usually use zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five but that is for slash twenty four okay since now we are using slash twenty eight so our wildcard will be changed to dot fifteen and then after you guys put the wildcard just area zero so another one is dot for it dot for it area zero. Okay, then we end. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Pop pop pop, and then we ex uh, we we end first lah. We end, and then we config them again. Okay, and then we router OSPF one. Okay, we put the router ID, router dash ID. Uh, now it's going to be 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. Okay, and then the network is going to be 200.8.25. And then dot, first is dot, dot for it with the wildcard is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.15. Okay, and then area zero okay one done two to go okay and then dot eight five okay and the last one is dot one one two okay so now we end okay so going to the last one so the last one um here so we end it first and then uh router and then we config term and then router o s p f one eh router o s p f one and then router dash dash i d three dot three dot three Okay, and then we put the network 200.8.25 and then the first one is dot 112 with the wildcard 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.15 area 0. Okay, and the last one will be dot 224. 224, enter. So, and then we end. So now we have done with all the configuration or whatsoever. So it's time to actually go and try to ping everything. So here I try to ping here successful. Then PC1 to PC0, PC1 to PC2 successful. Okay, and then PC2 to PC1 successful, PC2 to PC1 successful. Okay, so I think that's all. So I hope you guys get something from my video today and anything just drop uh, questions in the comment section and also I provide the links to the VLSM template and also the documentation on how to do lab test 3. Thank you very much everyone. I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys later. Goodbye.